Welcome to another Pike and Shot battle. This is Eager U1590 using Chronos' Fog 2 Features mod. It's also been rebalanced a little bit. Uh, don't remember which direction, to be honest. So, Fog Features mod uh, does like held firm messages, pushbacks by shock troops, various bug fixes undo move, uh, less infantry pursuit, a bunch of different things. Okay, well first off, let's not lose all of our light cavalry off the bat. Oh yeah, turn and shoot is another one. Shove them off, it's fine. Okay, Carassiers, early pike and shot, Lan Sknesh Kyle, and the Swiss. We also have Swiss. These are pulling back into the forest, no doubt. Let's encourage their movement in that direction so we can at least not worry about them and then cut inward is probably the right call. Crosshairs are a real danger to our Lancers, so we need to plan that accordingly. These Archivisiers are going to flee into the rough ground. Nothing we can really do about that right away. I mean, we can see if we can force him to turn around. Held firm. Okay. Hmm. We'll try to engage the infantry first and bring up the lancers second. Just a heads up, uh, no voiceover on this turn. Apologies. Okay, we're back with sound and everything. Uh, so, not gonna chase into the woods off after those mass arcosiers. Absolutely no interest in fighting them there. So we'll just avoid the woods. Okay, next we can keep pushing forward behind the cover of our foot. Anything worth hitting? Ah, uh, these are light guns, right? Okay, he's got his own Swiss there. Then what? So he's protected them from a charge. So instead we can just kind of be annoying and prepare to pepper them with a shot from behind.
Okay, we'll call that good. Next turn. Well, no need to <clears throat> rush ahead. We should try to bring our infantry weight to bear over here and here and avoid that trap. What can the Swiss do, I guess? Face his Swiss, it is what it is. Not enough AP left. Dangerous the Crossiers here have pistol impact, which cancels Lancer, and pistol melee, which cancels swordsmen. So we're just completely outclassed by these units. So we need to proceed with caution, which means waiting for the infantry to arrive. Next turn. Yeah, still, I don't know how I'm going to deal with the crosshairs. It's a huge problem. Uh, you're gonna have to draw some fire now. Okay, now we can do the bad thing. not the most effective. Rough is good, it'll unlock our swordsman POA. It's better than nothing. Uh, say hello. 
Yeah, I don't know. So I think the scenario is rebalanced in favor of the Huguenots, and I don't know if that's necessary, given that there is no counter to the cross use, but we'll see if I'm being paranoid here. Next turn. Oh, I thought they would have evaded. Well, I guess they're dead, and if we're lucky, these crosshairs will pursue somewhere equally terrible. What? That's right. Well, fire, held firm, why don't we, this is really horrible, but it could be worth it, just consider. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zone out those crosshairs. Swords and shot. Yeah, most unpleasant for you, I know. Okay, in the meantime, we're off. I'm going to use these noble gendarmes to zone out the Royal Swiss there. Why can't we do that? Not priority charge target. It's not a flank, but if we can stick it, no. But still, that position is by itself quite threatening. You can stick it. And we hold firm. That's good. So then you can turn, turn, give these a push. Oh, shit. Well, Large unit of crosshairs. Okay, well, you're gonna have to eat some lead. Sad times for you. Just uh, here. Say hello. Then what? Fire? Sure. More crosshairs, huh? Sum them out. Fire, Bonds, Clash, Kyle, go. Eventually, we'll get combat strength in our favor. Swiss on Swiss. Break, then what? Unclear. Try for a charge. Nice. Set up another right there. Okay.
We're about to be facing some very ugly impacts soon. Alright, we'll see. The Lancers are so bad against Crosshairs, but we do have more units. Gribble says, next turn I'll be punished for my stupidity. Well, that sounds good to me. to me personally. Interesting. Well, huh. do we could face around here we could also just do that Yeah, I mean, this situation is just terrible. out of the way and then pair of flanks see how this goes mm. they can't take much more of that kind of punishment Zone in the Royal Swiss. Okay. Uh, keep them moving. Zone out those crosshairs. Prepare more flanks and then the bad things. Okay, so far. Wow, very lucky so far. Okay. Um, yeah, follow up. 
that. Auto drop then. Great. Light them up. Now that they're zoned there. Wait. And just keep on trying to push through. Prep a charge. So you guys, this unit's going to go down shortly. Okay, pretty good turn actually. Next turn. Okay, that's going to be hideous soon. Well, we can only hope to win elsewhere. Ugh. Well, we can get into melee contact now. Bounce that, no problem. No, don't do that. Oh. Well, what do we got? For one thing, crunch. Good. Then hold them in place, I suppose. Ooh. some artillery or something. Hold off. This is absolutely hideous. And we have a little bit of combat strength in our favor, but yeah, it's not enough compared to that business. Okay. Uh... Oh. Interesting. They're disordered. So, why don't we move here? Yeah, and charge. So that'll unlock the swordsmen. Okay, then light them up. That also unlocks swordsmen. Good, then crunch again. Keep it up. Come on. There we go. Perfect. And follow through. I don't know about that.
Okay, great. Push on through. Ah, see if we can bounce off here. No. Um, pylon or bounce. That's fine. Absorb some shots so that you zone them out again. You can threaten a charge. Very good. I wish they weren't so in the way, but they are. Occupy the rough ground, take the open space. Okay, what's left? Yeah, yeah. Then we can do here, unfortunately. We're gonna have to eat lead again. Charge. Good. Save one unit from being shot at anyway. Overall, though, looking pretty good. I'm. Once we clear this out, we should be able to start sweeping in behind. Gerbil's giving me the GG, so let's see about that. Ah, that is helpful. Ugh, yeah, it's absolutely hideous. Okay, well, why don't we, it's not a flank, we could attempt to set one up, probably just bounce right off. No, we didn't, and that's good. You go here, <clears throat> and you take out those guns. Firm, you're super dead. Yeah. Oh shit. Well, is what it is. Um, the thing you can do. That's terrible. Send them out. Charge. Held firm. Fine. Fine.
that's good. Interesting. Uh, Rutter and gendarmes. I'm gonna shift over, try to contain this situation. I'll start suffering combat strength soon. Next turn. Goodbye. Oh, not yet, apparently. Bounce that, and then we'll light him up again. Okay. Well, set that up. Unlocks our swordsman POA. Hold firm again. You know what? Yeah, take care of that. Let's see. Still no combat strength modifier, unfortunately. Try for a frag. Do they break? No, so we'll get auto dropped next turn. here, force a contact, just to prevent the shooting, follow that up, not the direction I wanted, oh well. They can't take much more of that.
Next turn. Rude. Good. Yeah, we knew that terrible thing was coming. The effect on cohesion, no. Bounced, good. Disrupt. Okay. Anyway. Oh, that's that. Okay. Well, I did a poor job positioning for the final. But yeah, basically the crosshairs were a huge problem. But because of the uh, numerical superiority I had, Gribble felt under pressure to attack while he could, and that kind of created a pocket. So he asked if he should have just held back instead. I don't know if that would have helped either, given that that would have given me time to bring up my foot, which you know, just started to get involved towards the end in the left wing. So yeah, interesting scenario. It's really difficult for the Catholic army to deal with the Huguenot cavalry, but if you do, you've pretty much won. So, good game to Gribble, as always. Till next time.